Welcome back, everybody, to Satisfactory. I am an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to see if we can fix our problem with our two end coal generators. Before we get started with that, though, if you guys are interested in becoming a part of my amazing old guy gaming community, you can find the link to the Discord down in the description of the video and also in the about section of the channel. I do also live stream several times a week. Best thing to do is join up on the Discord and where I will announce those streams because they're not always exactly at the same time and same day due to my fluctuating schedule. Uh, also, if you find yourself enjoying this video, please, please, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, there you go. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> um, so the problem that I'm having is that these two end generators are on the other side of the water of these water pumps that are on the end and they're both starved for water. Now, I thought I had fixed this earlier because I took the pipes down and reapplied them and then all of a sudden everything kicked in and they were full of water and I said, oh, okay, so they're good. Uh, that is not the case because over time they are once again now starved for water. So I've been thinking about how I want to deal with this um, and I think I'm going to set up a temporary solution for now until I can get stator production going. And the reason stator production is applicable to this is because stators require, um, oh, sorry, not stators. Um, what I want to do is I want to build a power storage. Um, my intention is to replace the bio generators above with a power storage for batteries. And each one of these batteries can uh, produce uh, 100 megawatts of power for one hour so I'm gonna put a whole bunch of them up but as you can see in down in the lower right hand corner I need stators now I could make these manually and I still might I don't know uh, but we're gonna need stator production anyways so I want to I, I think what I want to do is get stator production going then I want to get these batteries in place make sure they're fully charged and then take the coal plant down and redo it and have the batteries hopefully you know keep everything else up and running in the meanwhile that's the plan at this point but I would like to get these running uh, or fixed even with a temporary, you know, uh, band-aid fix for now. Um, and, you you know, you can see that we are, you know, we're, we're at present, we're actually under half capacity or using less than half of our capacity. We could potentially use a little more than it if everything's running 100%. Um, but I want to I just want to get this fixed because it'll bug me if things aren't you know working the way they're supposed to that's really what it boils down to even though we could get away with probably just leaving it the way that it is until we redo the whole thing now in terms of redoing the whole thing one suggestion and I've I've heard this from multiple places uh, one suggestion you guys made in the comments was to use one water pump for two generators and then you'll never have a problem um, we could do that the thing I don't like about that is we're not using it at its full potential capacity. See, right now, this is a 100% efficient setup. Everything is uh, even ratios all the way across the board, except for the, what we, except for the damn waterfall problem that we have. So if I do two pumps per coal generator, um, you know, we're, we're, we're using more pumps than we really need to. Um, what I would like to try before we resort to that is I would like to just try and get the pumps all the way on the end of the line. So the idea being that we move this pump over here and then maybe move the center one over a little bit just so that it's centered and then see how things go. Um, and if that doesn't work, you know, then maybe we go back to one pump per, uh, uh, per two generators. Okay. Uh, but that's easier said than done because I can't do that right now or it's going to completely screw up our walkway here because um, it's going to take these two pumps and basically squish them together and even with that it still might not line up correctly so so the whole thing's really going to have to be essentially what's going to have to happen is all of these power generators are going to have to be taken apart and all shoved that way uh, which you know now that I think about that that's if we're only utilizing half of our power, we could maybe do one side at a time and get that to actually work. Hmm. 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 Thinking, thinking, thinking. That might actually work, you guys. 
Should we do it? Should we do it? Should we do it? And just that way we can kind of fix it right now and then be done with it. Yeah. So, okay, let me think about this. You know what? Actually, we don't even have to take the whole thing down. We really just have to move the end generator to the end. Everything else can actually stay the way it is. Uh, I, and then we could leave we could leave this pump exactly where it is. Don't even touch it. This pump we're gonna have to slide down one so that it's on the very end. And then this pump we might also want to move just so it's in the center. I'd have to measure all that out. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it that way. This might not be whoa, <laughs> go for a swim. Uh, this might not be as bad as I thought it was gonna be actually. Uh, it's just one of those things you know you have to kind of think it out a little bit. okay, so. Um, let's work. Let's work this problem. Let's work this problem, people. All right. Just like Ed Harris would say. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have to extend this out. Picking up multiple fixed personnel in the area. Get out of here, you liar! Before it's too late. It's not possible for there to be multiple fixed personnel in the area. This is a single player game. What you talking about? All right. Um. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this. Comply. I'll comply you with a, a novelist explosive. You don't shut up. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to pop this one here. Okay. Um, all of this stuff here, are we going to need to... Here, this has to go, obviously. And let's get all of this catwalk and railing stuff out of here for the moment. All right, now uh, what I want to do is I want to set up our our little pipe. Oh, I need some sheeting. Doggone it. All right, let me go get some sheeting. Be right back. Oh, I was going to show you guys too. I've got everything in our original factory floor running smooth as a baby's butt uh, because we put in smart splitters everywhere. So you guys saw me do the iron on camera, and I think maybe we did the concrete on camera. I've got our frames production now fully on smart splitters uh, just waiting for this to fill up and then it'll start feeding the surplus into the uh, sink I've got this on a smart splitter um, so the smart splitter is right here again I'm just waiting for the rotors to fill up takes a long time for these to fill up because you know they don't produce as fast uh, but once those are done then the smart splitter will send the surplus down through the floor over to the sink um, we've got the uh, plate production here on and on uh, the same thing so let's grab a couple of those actually we might need them on the smart splitter I got all the copper on the smart splitter uh, this production line here is feeding these plates into this system over here and it is actually backed up so I might need to I need to do something with this because it's it's backed up so we could even smart split uh well we could we could either smart split or maybe even just dumb split these i don't know uh off too i need i do need to fix that but i'm not gonna worry about that today of course and then uh, the copper is also the same thing so we got smart splitters on the copper and it's already full with cables cables produce very quickly and uh, let's actually grab another uh, stack of these too there we go um, and then we got the, the copper wire also doing the same thing. And the copper wire is also completely full, so it's feeding the excess into our awesome sink. And then I've got Mark III belts on this, just to get stuff in there as quick as possible. Everything down below has been upgraded to either Mark III or Mark II so that the flow is at maximum efficiency. Uh, also have set all this up to be a Mark III setup too. And uh, those are just the copper wires coming through there into this. And we currently have 16 coupons built up, which is great. Right, I'm just going to keep letting those build up. I haven't done anything yet with the Caterium. Um, uh, that's the next thing that, that's actually going to happen. Um, so that's, yeah, that's next up. Okay, anyway, let's get uh, our copper sheeting and get back down to the coal plant. All right, let's hook up our pipe here. We want to come out to um, do the, the 90 degree thingamadoodle there and then um, we need to put a temporary 
foundation here. Whoops, try that again. Make that a one meter foundation. Nope, not there, here. Relaying message. Hello, this is paternal figure. I have taken ill and need your help. Maternal to find figure. Cure. If Doctors I say that the only remedy is alien artifacts. If I just pick you up, will you shut the hell up? Summer sloop work in progress. There. Hey, we might as well get to grab some extra kateri. No, we don't need that. <laughs> got tons of kateri. Uh, yeah, let's not waste time doing that. Okay. Come over here. All right, now, uh, the next thing we want to do is grab the... This is right smack dab in the center, isn't it? Okay. Grab the pipe. Bring it down here. Put it all the way up in the air like that. Nice 90 degrees. Don't need these guys anymore. And don't need these guys anymore. Okay. Uh, now what we want to do is we want to grab a foundation for down here. Put it on the global. Just temporarily. And we were, let's see, how were we doing this? I think we were grabbing a pipe and bringing it down here and getting it straight just to get the the loop connector thing down there so we could use it to measure with. And we were going up three, if I recall. Nope, that's not straight. Okay, so that's okay. We need to move this back to... Probably here, I'm thinking. Yep, that gets us our 90. Okay, cool. Now, let's take this back apart for just a second. Uh, so it's not there. And then we want to grab this. And, oh, you know what else we need to do? Uh, we need to run, temporarily run a pipe here. And I think we need to put it up on a, a one meter. You guys just... Well, I shouldn't say that because I'm, I'm, I'm quite a ways ahead of you guys. Uh, but what I was going to say is it's actually been probably two weeks or so since the last time I did this. So it's not super fresh in my mind. All right, now let's do our lineup here. We want to make sure we are facing west and that we have this as close to the center as possible. Not going to be absolutely perfect, but it's going to be close. And then all of this stuff can go. <laughs> and then this just needs to be uh, redone. Okay, that part's done. Uh, now we need to move this. So let's get that out of there. Come around here and grab a thing. And we had to stand off to the side just a little bit as I recall. Um, oh, that's... that needs to be higher. Okay, let's... I think it needs to be right there. Okay. So we stand off to the side. We bring this through right until we see it. Uh, we can hold control to line it up and right until we see the yellow cover the thing. And that was just about right on the money. It looks pretty damn good to me, man. It looks pretty damn good to me. Let's attach the... Oh, wait a second. I'm too close. <laughs> I'm a little too close there. Yeah, a little too close. Okay. We had to hold that out further. Ah, shit. Okay. Um. Oh, think about this for a second. What? Wait, what? 
Do, 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 do. Oh, it changed me. Okay, I see what's going on. It changed because we put the, the joint on there. All right. Yeah, see, I, like I said, it's been a little while since I did this. Okay, let's see if that's the right spot. No, it needs to go out further. Okay, that's what's going on. I was like getting a little corn fuse there for a second. Perfect. Okay, that's where we want that to be. Grab the pump. Bring it over here. Stand off to the side a little bit. Hold control. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, we got to go back. Oh, see, now it's not lining up. You know why? Because it's too... There's too much of this in the way. So we are going to need to do another row of... Con uh. Concrete here. Zoopity doop that out to there. And then pull this up. Alright, let's try this again. Stand a little bit off to the side. Get it to line up. It's really being a pain in the butt. Okay, now it's not lining up. It wants to line up to the other thing instead. I wonder if these are interfering. We don't need those there anymore. All right, I'm gonna have to rely upon the little green line, vertical green line there, because it's just not behaving now for some reason. Bring it forward right until the yellow covers that. Let's just look at that visibly and see if that looks straight. Nah, it's a little bit off to the right. Okay, let's try it again. I don't know why it isn't lighting up this time. It's man, this game sometimes, I'll tell you what. <laughs> um, line up, damn you! You weren't doing it earlier. Okay. So what makes this hard is I'm you know I'm doing it from an angle not straight on so it's a little difficult to see if it's exactly lined up you know what that's that's close i mean that is that's almost perfect we're going we're going to run with that we're going to run with that okay so now we want to make sure this gets into no not there we need it on the end homie there we go okay and we want to make sure it gets into the pump. Beautiful. It's a done deal. Okay. So let's hook up the power to this. We're okay because, you know, we, we're not anywhere close to capacity yet. Uh, I'm going to redo this pipe. And we're going to put it right here. Okay, so we got the water hooked up on the end. Now what we need to do is get the coal hooked up. I don't remember how high up we were going, so um, one, two, three, maybe four. That looks like it's going down at an angle. Uh, oh no, it's the right height, but I got to put a splitter on there. One, two, here, get rid of that. One, two, three, four, turn it this way. Grab the splitter. There we go. Okay, and that gets our coal going. Okay, so what this does is it puts all of our generators 
None of them are on the other side of the pumps. So this whole thing here now can be taken down. That's not needed. This is a Mark II belt. And it just gives us a, a little bit larger walkway here. That can go too. All right, so I think, I hope, that that will solve the issue. Um, now, the other thing we wanted to maybe do is move this guy over so it's right in the center. Um, let's get back here a ways. Here, I know what we can do. Let's just zoop way out there temporarily. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, one, two. So if we move... We're going to have to move the center one in between the two sockets and put a joint in between there to get it right in the middle. And if I'm, boy, if I'm not mistaken, I'd almost say, well, we could probably use the ring. Yeah, we could use that center ring because um, I think that's the center of the pipe. So this ring right here. I think. Well, I don't know. Is it? No, I don't think it is because this side's shorter than this side. Hmm. So I'm not sure exactly how we tell the exact dead center of this pipe. It's not lining up with that. If I just look at it visibly with, you know, pointing to the west, I would have to guess that it's right here, just at the right edge of this ring. And again, I mean, none of this is, all of this has been, or a much of it, I should say, has been eyeballed anyways, so as long as we get it super close, we're probably going to be fine. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to grab this joint, and we're going to put it right about here-ish. Okay? All of this has to go. This too. And let's get rid of a couple of these, at least temporarily. All right, now what we need to do here, let's just get rid of this guy and that guy. Oh shit, I should have kept that there for a minute. Oh, well, that's right. Um, we need to get this down here on the global. I'm just going to put four. Actually, I don't think I need these far ones. Um, yeah, let's, we don't need this. Okay. Now, we're going to come over here. going to grab a pipe and bring it down here. Make sure it's lined up this direction. And pull it this way. I'm going to guess that's the right spot. And then we wanted to bring it, I think, to that level. Okay, so left and right, it's correct. Uh, but it's too far in that way. So if we just put another one here, that'll probably fix it. That's that's good. Okay. That's good. Alright, take this back up. Uh, we no longer need these. Let's grab our water pump. Stand here, turn it this way. 
See, now that, mm, is that lining up? I can't really tell, but it's also pulling it forward a bit, which I don't really want it to do. But let's just bring it until the yellow covers that, and then I'm going to have to just kind of guess on this. I'm going to say right about there. It's a little too far to the left. All right, let's try this again. Okay, I just realized that down below the pipe, the green line actually does appear and it lines it up with the thing. So we just got to get that, um, like get my hammer icon in the center of my screen right in the middle of that line and then pull it till just the yellow covers it. And that should be pretty damn good. It's not 110% perfect. It's about 93.7891 perfect. And that's good enough for me. <laughs> okay. Let's get this connected now. We want to go into the pump. And you can now go away. All right. Let's get the power hooked back up. All right, let's go back out to our vantage point here. So yeah, that uh, should be right in the center because we've got three of the junctions showing there. We got three of the junctions showing there. And then this one we put right in between. So that should be right smack dab in the center. One thing we could do too, just for funsies is where is the lookout tower? Yeah. Looks like it's in the center to me. Okay. So now what we want to do is we just want to um, see how uh, if if it works right if if the end genies are not being starved for water. So what I'm going to do, you guys, I'm going to cut the camera here. I'm going to redo all the catwalks and give this a little bit of time, and then I'll bring you back and we'll take a look at it and see how it's doing. Okay, so I got the catwalks in place. Why is this fluttering? Do we have a double here? We sure did. Okay, that's. Uh, Let's go back to default mode. Sometimes when you try and zoop these, they you double up on them. Okay, so let's look and see how we're doing. We got full water in that guy. Let's go look at the opposite end. And full water in that one. Okay. Um, have we had any power dips. Not for a while. If you look at the top gray line, you can see that it's uh, running at full. Why are we at 1125 though? We should be at 1200. Um, did I... Oh, I'll bet you I forgot to hook up the power on this last Jenny. <laughs> yep, I sure did. Oh my goodness, can't take me anywhere. Okay. See, I gotta switch back to my other toolbar here. There we go. All right. Well, um, we might have to we might have to wait now. Well, let's just watch it for a bit, because we we could visibly see the other one going, you know, going down. Uh, but, you know, when we had that problem, and as long as this just keeps popping up to fifty. I think we're finding it looks like it is. Okay, I'm satisfied that that is working correctly. 
If these middle ones were having a problem, they'd already be lower by now because they've been running the whole time pretty much. Oops. Okay. So guys, I think the moral to this story here is in update five in whatever version we're currently on, I guess it's uh, 174.799 up in the upper left hand corner, is that if you're gonna use, if you're gonna run the pumps at their full capacity, the pumps on the lines, um, you want to make sure that you don't, that you have the end pumps all the way on the end of the line, essentially, and you don't have another generator on the other side of the connection because that one seems to get starved. It still doesn't really make sense to me why that's the case, but uh, you guys were telling me in the comments that the water pipes don't work exactly in terms of, of even flow. They're not like a conveyor belt where it's, you know, like this is an unguaranteed 120 per minute. Apparently the water pipes don't work exactly that way. I don't know why, but there's probably some reason for it, that uh, some hydro engineering reason for it. Uh, but it does appear, and I will check this later too, of course, you know, after it's ran for a while, but it does appear that if you're gonna set up three pumps for eight generators, which is max capacity, 100% efficiency, you wanna make sure that your water pumps um, are on the end of the, uh, of the manifold on both ends, and then you put your, you know, you know your middle one just in the middle. Um, and so it appears like it's working. So what I'm going to do off camera is I'm going to redo this side in exactly the same way. I'm not going to show that to you because you, you know exactly what's going to happen. Um, and then, you know, we'll give it some time. I'll come back down here in a few days and just check it and make sure that everything is still working smoothly. And then uh, we'll be good. So, yeah, next episode, guys, is I'm going to I'm going to redo the Caterium. I don't, I don't know if I'll show that on camera. I might just do that off camera and then show you what I did. And then we need to get started with our advanced steel production. We need to get the stators going. We need to get the uh, encased industrial beams going and the versatile frames and the smart wiring uh, so that we can get into uh, tiers five and six. So that is coming up pretty quickly here. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.